Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend read for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 9th through April 12th. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started, guys. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Libras, please? April 9th through April 12th, 2020, please, Spirit. All right, my loves. So guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun. So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post post and you know um when i announce the winners okay all right guys so if you would like to book me for a personal reading my information is below i am actually having a huge sale right now on personal reading so be sure to check it out um the link for my instagram is below my tarot card collection my new channel divine spirit healing 1111 there's a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out okay so guys let's go ahead and get into um your pre-shuffle message. So Libra, this could be your energy. It could be your person's energy, okay? Now, what I'm feeling here is somebody here is holding back their own happiness, okay? They're choosing to stay in this energy of feeling unhappy and rejected instead of like taking control of their life, uh, you know, seeing the situation for what it is, moving on, okay, to somebody new. Um, I feel like somebody is still a little bit in this energy of, like, they feel that it's cheating. Like, they feel like if they move on, like, somebody doesn't want to cut the energetic cord, okay? Um, they know, I feel like, you know, Libra, if this is you, if this is your person, someone here knows that if they moved on that they would be happier, but they're holding themselves back from it, okay? They're holding themselves back from it. Um, there's still an energy of, I just can't do it. I, you know, I, it's, there's this energy of like, it almost still feels like cheating because you haven't really cut that energetic cord yet. So that could be you, Libra, that could be your person. <coughs> five of wands under the deck very conflicted emotions okay you're either fighting for you know fighting that you know fighting yourself to not move on or conflicted about the situation um yes yeah, someone here just you know doesn't want to let go they don't want to let go even if it means they have to sit in misery and in pain they still don't want to let go so we have the healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. The connection was toxic. The connection was really bad. And, you know, you're very heartbroken or someone here is very heartbroken. And, you know, they're just wanting to wallow in that for a bit. Okay. We have camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past. I mean, yeah, someone here is still reminiscing. Maybe looking at someone's photographs, thinking about the past. Um, someone here is just wanting to, is choosing to stay stuck. Choosing to stay stuck. Um, with clock in the reverse. Need time, takes time, in time, time to heal. And this is in the reverse. You're not really taking the time that you're, you're giving yourself to heal. You're just kind of staying stuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not really healing from the connection because healing would mean to know that something's over and it needs to heal. Um, yeah, see, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. You're, you're, someone here is just choosing to remain stuck. This is unconditional love, stalking under the deck, and the runner. Someone here is still stalking and looking for someone that ran away. You know, they see this love as unconditional, and someone here is still looking, watching, and waiting for this person to come back. This person has left the building, and someone here is just hasn't, isn't gaining closure from this. Someone here just isn't they're not they're not allowing the closure to happen okay 
So let's see here, Libra. So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your yes, see, and honeymoon. Someone is waiting to move on. Someone just can't seem to get unstuck. Someone is waiting to move on. And here we have past life relationship and we have stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Um, so I feel that this person is either optimistic about being able to come back to you or they're optimistic about going back to a previous ex, okay? So let's see what we have going on here. So we have the 10 of wands and we have the justice card. Libra energy. So guys, you're having a hard time. You're having a really hard time. But with the justice card in your mind, and I feel that this is your energy, Libra, I'm sorry. In your mind, you're feeling like even though it's hard for me, I'm going to stay and I'm going to wait and I'm going to be loyal and I'm going to be good because it's the right thing to do. Okay. Um, with the Empress here and the Five of Swords, you're like, this person will eventually regret their actions and they will come back to their Empress, Libra energy. Okay, we've got two Libra cards here, so I feel strongly this is your side, that you are the one waiting, okay? Or Libra, you feel that with that Five of Swords, if you make that decision to move on, that you might regret it. With the Five of Pentacles, you're alone. Okay, you've been shut out, you've been left out in the cold, and you're just like, you're not wanting to move on. Okay, so you're willing to stay lonely and you're willing to wait because either you feel that A, this person will regret it and come back or B, you'll regret it if you make that impulsive decision to move on. Now, on your person side, we have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This person is talking to somebody else, okay? This person has someone else in the picture um, or they're very up and down as to whether they want to come back to you with past life relationship. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Sun, okay? So this person... I feel that even though they have emotion for you, even though they love you, they are appearing very distant, okay? They are appearing very distant. So this person is kind of entertained by the fact that, you know, they can kind of juggle you. They can kind of, you know, this person like knows that they have you under their thumb, okay? And with the judgment card here, um, Sagittarian energy, <sighs> I hate to say it, guys, but this person knows that they have you wrapped around their finger. They are fully aware. They are fully aware. That they can come back to you anytime that they want. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords in the reverse, Libra energy. This is someone feeling scorned, rejected, and hurt. And with that Ten of Wands, that is your burden. That is the weight that you're carrying right now. Tell me about the Justice card with the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, I feel that you are... Uh, you don't... Okay, how can I put it? You're not depressed per se. You're not showing that you're like you're not just laying around in bed all day, but at the same time, you're doing the right thing. Tell me about the Empress card. Yeah, we have. OK, you know that this person from your past is going to come towards you. You just know it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're waiting for an apology. You're waiting for them to come back to you. Tell me about the five of swords. I feel also that you've invested a lot of love in this. With the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands, I feel that you're you're not you're blocking yourself from moving forward. You you just have no interest in moving forward at all. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, please. Page of Cups in the reverse. Uh, yet, at the same time, there's no incoming message here. And with the moon, Pisces, Cancer, and energy, you have no real idea if you're ever going to get this apology. Okay? You're waiting. You, you've you invested a lot of time in this. And you're, you're blocking yourself from moving forward. But still, as it ends here, you're not getting any communication from this person. You're not getting any apology from this person. Tell me about the two of pentacles. We've got the hanged man. Yeah, see? Piscean energy. This person knows that they can literally just joke you leave you hanging come back to reconcile whenever they want they they know that they can just come and go whenever they want tell me about the eight of wands and they don't even feel bad about it with the five of, of cups in the reverse this person does not even feel bad about it tell me about the king of cups we've got the page of swords in the reverse so this person um 
is not, you know, they're very distant. They're not, even though they, maybe they care about you, they have some emotion for you, um, but they're not looking for you. This person's not looking for you. This person doesn't care. And you know why they don't care? Because they know that you're sitting home waiting. Tell me about the sun card. Eight of wands in the reverse. It makes this person happy that with the eight of wands in the reverse, with them not talking to you, okay? With them not talking to you, this is like an emotional manipulator. This is someone who uses the silent treatment or distancing themselves to manipulate you emotionally. Tell me about the judgment card. Yeah, see, the chariot, Cancerian energy. They'll come back and ask for a second chance whenever the hell they're ready to. Because they know that you'll be sitting there waiting. We've got professional assistance and we've got new beginnings. Professional assistance and new beginnings. So maybe with professional assistance, I'm kind of getting this energy of putting the work in. So this person will put the work in for reconciliation, but whenever they feel like it. Okay, whenever they feel like it. And here you are with intuition and manifestation you're you're trying to manifest the person that you're missing the most you realize here how much you miss this person and you're trying to manifest them back okay um you've never really lost them fyi they're still there they're just kind of hanging out doing whatever they want to do and they just know that you're sitting home waiting for them to call and you know what i'm saying and they just you know whenever they're ready they'll come around Tell me about the challenge here. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. Um, there's secrets here. There's intuition. What, what's crossing the situation is the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So I feel that... Yeah, this person's intuition is telling them that you're loyal, you're committed, you're not going anywhere. You think they don't know, but they know. Because the Queen of Pentacles is solid. This is someone loyal, grounded, stable, that the Queen of Pentacles doesn't budge. Like, you couldn't get her to cheat. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, with the High Priestess, that's someone with morals. They know that you're not going anywhere. And with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, this person will withdraw from this connection whenever they want to go play. And when they're done playing, they'll come back home. That's it. That's how this person is. And they know that you will sit home and you'll wait for them. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, they'll they'll leave. They'll emotionally disconnect whenever they want, knowing that you're sitting home waiting for them. Whenever they see something shiny that they want to go pursue and get a taste of, they go. They leave, they go to a third party that they want, and then they they come back and they're like, Oh, let me go back to my let me go back to my Libra. You know what I'm saying? Let me go back to my pre Empress, my Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Yeah, see, whenever they want, if they meet a new lover, if they meet someone that they want to pursue, they just put this on hold, they go play, and then they come back home. That's what you're dealing with right now. And you are completely loyal to this. Or, I mean, it can be vice versa, Libra. It could be you that's in this energy of dipping out to go, you know, play with someone else and then coming back home. It could be, it could be vice versa. But there's one person here that just leaves and goes and has fun and then wants to come back home. And the other person will just sit and wait and that's it. And that's the way this relationship is. All right, guys, I love you. Please be safe and take care of yourselves. Bye.